this is feed your mind and so scientists are baffled about how water is so abundant on this earth you see the scientists they like to say that they're in outer space on these other planets they're desperately searching for water they're looking for water on the moon they're looking for water on mars they're looking for water on all these so-called planets which we don't really have to get into right now about my thoughts on planets or nothing but basically they're they're claiming that they're desperately looking for water on these other so-called planets so the thing that strikes me is that basically they're, they're kind of admitting to me uh, it seems like where they're saying like water is so unique to earth you see earth is like 70 percent water and humans are made up of about 70 percent water water is everywhere on this place it, water pours out of the sky you know you got these rainfalls that just just um you know the system is set up so perfect for water to distribute and uh the lakes and the rivers water moves and it's everywhere on this place but has any of you atheists or agnostics actually thought about that? Like, what's the chance of that? Why is water so available to us here on Earth? You see, if, you, if, if you're not quite following me right now, it's just kind of like, it's the same thing when you, when you think about the moon and the sun. It's like, so in the daytime, you got a celestial object that gives us sunlight but then at nighttime you all you just you happen to have a celestial object that gives off light like a night light so you know it's like what's the chance of that you know it's 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 like things right in front of our face that's just too perfect for this place not to be designed and created so it might seem so simple, you know, just, it's just something that people take for granted. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's daytime. So we gotta, you know, okay. That's one thing to have a sun, but you also have a moon, a, a circular object in the sky. That's doing the opposite of what the sun does. It's, it's like the chances are pretty much zero for a random accident earth. So back to the water, it's like, yes, so water basically is everywhere here on this earth. It, it, you know, it pours out of the sky. There's certain areas that don't get a lot of water, but for the most part, earth is abundant in water. And um, if, if we took more time to figure out how to get water to these deserts, I mean, I mean, cause we could, we've been spending all this money on space right all these billions of dollars on outer space stuff so if we just spent that much effort and energy into um getting water to places that need it you know it's like wouldn't that be money better spent because then people could easily inhabit areas that um here on earth they're all, they're, they're, all these scientists are just so set on looking for a place to stay outside of this um earth realm they wanna they wanna set up shop in mars or or or, the, or these other places but they could spend that same effort and build livable habitable places here on earth like um in the deserts because it's like why not? Why not spend the money here and, and, and get things going here? Making sure everywhere is habitable, especially if they're so worried about population. So, yeah, water's everywhere. And it's just, I think, I think um, atheists take that for granted. It's like, it's, it's, a, um, it's right in our face that this place was designed for us because it's like scientists can't figure out where this, where this water came from. I didn't even like 
even think about that till I saw this video. So I'm, I'm going to leave a link to this. Uh, it's, it's a science video where they're admitting they're coming up with all these theories about where water came from. They're trying to say, oh, it might have came from this or that. You know, just basically the hydrogen. I think they're trying to say it came from the sun. They're trying to say it was already here. Um, then, then it kind of sounds like they're trying to say the elements of water was here which created water for us so it was like hydrogen plentiful uh plentiful and hydrogen and then when the oxygen hit it just burst into this land of water you know this this earth filled water paradise with uh plenty of water so yeah they don't really seem to have any clue about why earth has so much water and I think that's just a very good question for them because it's obvious that the answer is that water is here for us to use because uh, the creator of this place wanted us to have water. It, it's, it sustains our life. It's it's it even goes deeper than that. Like like I've I've touched on water on another video. You can check that out. I also leave a link for that as well. My water series. Um, it's like, it's, I'll briefly just re remind you about some of the things I was saying basically was that like with all the rivers and lakes and everything, they're all connected. Everything's just one big body of water with streams and rivers and lakes. It's all connected and it just flows through the earth. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a system that just is too intelligently designed obviously for it to be um random a random accident like the way like for the water to work its way through earth where it's you know far away from an ocean you don't have to be right next to an ocean to have water flowing through your city and lakes and rivers it's like who did that it's almost like it's almost like um would the giants do that you know it's like you almost got to start wondering thinking outside the box like or 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 is it just created that way you know you you got to think you got you got to think like it was designed though because the way the way the river systems and everything is all set up with the vein it's like veins and arteries it's like you know basically how a human body is set up with the heart to pump blood throughout all of your body so that um you know with the blood vessels so water just it just reminds me of it's like main arteries and it's like a vein through the it's, it was definitely designed so you can't you can't have that type of stuff just accidentally happening so and then um yeah, so to to me, it's like it's not it's not so much of a mystery because scientists are just like baffled. They just can't figure it out. Like, wow, just all these other planets, there's no water. And then you know, for the people that follow this channel, we know that those planets are not solid objects. You know, they're not solid objects. That's why you can't find water on them. But the scientists are. You know they're they're not on that page yet, so they're they're desperately looking, wondering why is Earth so unique and why does it have all this water and no other planet does. So, anyways, like I said, I'll leave a link, two links. I'll leave a link for you can check out this this video of this of this um, scientist. They're trying to figure out how water came to be on Earth, um, and, and the and the ideas they have are just. Um, not very good at all. <laughs> it's just, just give it up at this point. You know, there, I mean, the ideas of scientists throughout there just, no, it's, you'll have to see it for yourself. Um, but, uh, I'll also leave a link to my water playlist. So yeah, all links will be in the comment section in the description box. If you, uh, I'll also leave a link, make sure you sign up to my feed your mind three or subscribe to my feed your mind three channel. Cause I upload there on other topics. You know, I, I touch on a lot of stuff that I, I'm not going to touch on on this channel. Feed Your Mind 2 is kind of like my main channel, so I'm going to kind of feel free to um, cover other areas on my Feed Your Mind 3 that I think you might enjoy. Also, um, I'll leave a link if you would like to support this channel. 
you can donate as little as a dollar to help keep things going here at Feed Your Mind. It's just, it's just kind of like tipping your waiter a dollar or something, you know. It helps everything out. It helps everything out over here. Also, I'll leave a link to my social media plus much more. So thank you for tuning in. This has been Feed Your Mind signing off.